In this lesson, we're going to take a close look at the Acid Pro Toolbar. It's located at the top of the screen, underneath the menu. You can see the icons, which go from left to right. And the icons are buttons, which perform certain tasks. For example, this is a folder which is open. If you press it, the open dialog box appears, and you can open an Acid Pro project, groove, or media file. You can also change the file type, and you can open many different types of files. You'll notice that if you hover your mouse over the toolbar button, you can see the name and the keyboard shortcut. In this case, Control O. Let's try that. I'm going to press and hold down Control and O at the same time. There. So even though it's a button, you can actually use your keyboard to perform the same task. These buttons are organized into functional categories, the first of which are file operations. New, open, save, where you save your Acid Pro projects, publish, and getting media from the web. These are pretty much duplicates of things found in the menus, where you can create new files, save them, get media from the web, publish. It really depends on how you like to work in a program. If I select a clip on the right, new choices become available. Cut, copy. Buttons that are grayed out are unavailable. I cannot paste anything because I have not copied it yet. Let's copy the selected item, and now paste becomes available. So if I scroll to the right, select a new point in the timeline, press paste, my fuzz guitar is pasted now further down the timeline. Undo is a favorite button of mine. Reverses the effects of an operation. Redo redoes it. You notice that this set of buttons, along with a few others, has a black triangle next to it. You can click that triangle and then select one or more sub-choices below. For example, undo, if I were to perform several tasks, sort of at random here, and now select my undo, you can see the name of each thing that I've done and intelligently choose to go back a few or all steps. Same thing with redo. Okay, moving on, now we have some kind of program buttons where we can enable snapping to the rule marks, measures, or certain note values. That means when I drag this clip to the left and right, I'm snapping right now to my ruler marks, which if I zoom in, gets smaller and smaller. These are smaller increments of time. That's a handy button. Sometimes you don't want to snap to the ruler marks, but you want to snap to a measure. There. I can also enable or disable certain features like crossfades. You'll notice let me scroll up to different events here and move back a little bit. This guitar, I'm going to create a new event and I'm going to drag this over the first event. You'll notice that nothing appears to happen. It just overlays on top of the old one. But if I enable automatic crossfades, there you can see the crossfade appears. So this button just toggles a choice on or off. Much like lock envelopes to events, your metronome, and so forth. Enable inline MIDI editing allows you to directly edit MIDI. So let's go down here where there's a MIDI clip. Press G, which is our keyboard shortcut. And boom, I am in MIDI editing mode. Now, if I expand this track to fill up the screen a little bit better, you can see individual notes 
and my piano to the left, which tells me what they are. All right, so it's going to take a little time to get used to all these buttons up here and exactly what they do, but that's just part of the fun of getting to know ACID and using it. Got a draw tool, selection tool, can paint certain notes, can erase events, work with envelopes, select time, paint grooves on. All right, I think we can wrap this lesson up. You should now be familiar with the Acid Pro Toolbar.